Hey friends, today in this video, I will show you two PowerShell scripts that will help you to change the password in your Active Directory infrastructure. In the first PowerShell script, we will use a CSV file where usernames and passwords will be mentioned. In the second PowerShell script, we will use only a, a, a usernames which will be mentioned inside the CSV file and we will randomly generate the passwords for all user accounts are using the PowerShell script. So let's start from the first method that will use a CSV file where username and predefined passwords are mentioned but user required the change password on the next logon. So let's start. I'm going to open the PowerShell ISC tool and I will call the PowerShell script that I just created and I just assigned a name fixed password underscore bulk so this will use a predefined uh, username and passwords and I'm going to open it. Now I will go from the very beginning of this PowerShell script. I will explain each and every line over here. So import dash module active directory and uh, second is the dollar reset password. So this variable is just just calling the csv file by using this import dash csv command and next is store csv file into reset password variable so it's just storing the reset password values uh, uh, and uh, inside the dollar user variable over here next one is the for each user in the csv file reset the password so this dollar username is calling the value from this dollar uh, user because inside the CSV file we just mentioned the username and password so this is just calling over here inside dollar username and dollar password so next what we will do we will just use a active directory command to to uh, set the password for the users which are mentioned inside the CSV file so this is a Active Directory PowerShell command that will use to reset the password. Next is it's just converting to, to secure string. So I'm using this command convert to secure string and dollar password. So this is the value. The dollar password value will be converted inside the secure string. So this is a command that currently just is converting into the secure string next is set ad user identity dollar username so basically this is just setting the property of the user accounts change password at logon so user must change password at next logon that will be that will be changed through this set ad user identity and it's true if you make it false so that will the property will not be changed so always I recommend you to make it true and uh, next is print the username and password in a table format. So currently it's just uh, prompt the username and password over here. So I'm using this command write host and dollar username and t dollar password. So username and password will be prompted over here as well. and. Uh, Next is write host password changed. Now I'm going to execute this PowerShell script and let's see the user name which are mentioned inside the CSV file and the password which is which are also mentioned over here. So that has been changed. If you just want to see the CSV file, so you can just open the CSV file over here and here you can see this is the username and password the values which we just uh, assign inside the csv file that is available over here now i'm going to close this if you just want to use this powershell script so you can visit our uh, blog website that is infoelias.com and here i just updated this powershell script the both powershell script one is the the fixed password where you will use a CSV file where uh, we mentioned the username and password and in the next you can see 
I use a random generated password PowerShell script as well. So this is infoelias.com and here you can just visit and you can just copy this PowerShell script and you can make the changes accordingly in as per your infrastructure. Now I will see the next PowerShell script that will randomly generate the uh, password for the user and it will just uh, export it inside a CSV file. The output will be generated in uh, another CSV file where username and password will be mentioned. I'm going to open this one. So first the criteria is minimum length of the password that will be 8 character and max length will be 8 character as well. Now define the character set for password generation. So this is alpha character. This is a variable where I am just putting the characters like A, B, C, D, E, E, F, G, H, I and it's in small and similarly I mentioned the caps as well. So alphanumeric password I, we just want to generate including caps and small character of A, B, C, A uh, for, uh, for A, B, C, D to Z and A, B, C, D to Z in caps as well. Num character this is another variable we are just calling this for numeric uh, keyword like 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and the special character so we just want to assign a password that contains alpha characters numbers and special characters as well so we just assign this inside the variable if you want to make the changes suppose if you don't want to assign the uh, keyword like uh, semicolon or uh, uh, curly brackets over here so you can delete one delete this all now the password will be generated uh, including this special character similarly if you want to make the changes for characters as well so you can delete any one of them as per your requirement now if you scroll it down so I'm just using this dollar input users so this is a variable which is again calling this password changes CSV because I'm using the same csv file which i just earlier used this uh, csv file but i will pick the username only from this uh, uh, csv file so i just i'm using the same common uh, password changes.csv file now create the output csv file with the generated password so in the input users i am calling the csv file and i am just uh, storing the variable uh, storing the values from this csv file next I am using again for each loop and uh, user in input users and username is uh, user dot username and again I am using a, a variable that is dollar password but this password uh, variable will just just concatenate the, the values uh, from this uh, all uh, character sets including alpha characters number characters special characters over here you can see this method that will just uh, generate a password uh, like uh, alpha characters numbers and special characters get random count get random count minimum length and maximum length so this will just count the minimum and maximum length which just as specified over here eight characters so it's just calculating over here now you can see this one the output password and username uh, password set ad user identity so this will just change the password by using this command set ad user identity write host username password and the, the value of the passwords which has just generated over here output so output will be also exported inside this csv file and uh, now I'm going to execute this so once the password will be changed so the message will be prompted like password changes completed and the generated password have been saved to the output passwords.csv file so a new csv file will be generated with the the newly created passwords for your user account similarly we also used this set ad user identity username change password at logon true so user need to change the password on the first logon 
So I just specified this uh, set ad user identity change password at logon. If you make it false, so the, the it will not prompt to change the password on the first logon. Now I'm going to execute this PowerShell script again. So this users has just generated random passwords over here, and uh, if you go inside the C drive and we'll open the output password so these passwords are also written over here so this is the powershell script that will help you to generate the random password for your active directory users uh, including like minimum length maximum length you can specify as per your infrastructure if you just want to copy this powershell script so just you can again visit my uh, blog website that is infoelias.com and here I just mentioned these two power cell script. One is for uh, predefined password and second is for if you want to generate a random password for your Active Directory infrastructure. Thank you for watching this video.